Hello. Hi. Welcome to Accounting 101. This is Dr. Annette Moultrie. In this video, we will cover Chapter 1. Chapter 1 deals with accounting and the business environment. But before we proceed with the video, I need you to click on the subscribe button. Click on the thumbs up button below. Also, click on the notification bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. So we're gonna go over the objectives of chapter one. The first objective is explain why accounting is important and list the users. Who are the users of the accounting information? Two, we're gonna describe the organizations and the rules that govern accounting. Three, we're gonna describe what exactly is the accounting equation and define assets, what are liabilities, what is an equity. Objective four, we're gonna use the accounting equation to analyze transactions. In chapter one, we'll also prepare financial statements. And finally, in chapter one, we're gonna use financial statements and return on assets to evaluate business performance. So let's get into learning objective one. Explain why accounting is important and list the users. Who are the users of this accounting information? Why is accounting important? Accounting is the information system that measures business activities. Also processes the information into reports and also communicates the results to decision makers. Accounting is also uh, referred to as the language the language of business. So the better you understand the language of business, the better you can manage your own business and be a valuable employee or make wise investment decisions. Accountants participate in a broad range of activities, such as the investigation of financial evidence, the development of computer programs to process accounting information, and the communication of financial results to interested parties. Accounting is used in every day to help make good business decisions. Now, the Pathways Commission, they created a vision model to help students and the public understand what accounting is and how it's, it's used in business decision making. Accounting starts with economic activities that accountants review and evaluate using critical thinking and judgment. Accountants play a critical role Yes, they play a critical role in supporting a prosperous society. Now, accounting is divided into two fields. The first field is financial accounting, and the second is managerial accounting. Now, financial accounting provides information for external decision makers, such as outside investors, lenders, customers, and government entities. Now, managerial accounting, on the other hand, focuses on information for internal decision makers, such as the company's managers 
and employees. Individuals use accounting information to make decisions such as um, how much money to save for college or should I purchase a new computer? Now, business owners use accounting information to set goals. They use it to measure progress toward those goals. And also they use it to make judgments or adjustments when needed. Outside investors, they had an ownership interest in the business and often provide money to get a business started. A creditor is any person or business to whom the business owes money, such as taxing authorities. They collect taxes levied on a business income or assets. Certified public accountants or CPAs they are licensed professional accountants who service the general public. Now, CPAs work for public accounting firms. They work for businesses, government entities, or even educational institutions. Now, in order to become a CPA, you must meet educational and or experience requirements and then you have to pass the CPA exam. You can find more information about the CPA exam or the requirements by going to the AICPA website, the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants. There you will find more information regarding uh, the CPA, the CPA requirements and the exams. Now certified management accountants or CMAs, they are certified professionals who specialize in accounting and financial management. Now, generally a CMA, they work for a single company. And to find more information uh, pertaining to a certified management accountant, you can go to their website, uh, the Institute of Management Accountants at www.imanet.org. Now, accountants generally work either in public, private, or government accounting. Now, studying accounting and becoming certified professionally can lead to a financially secure job. Tax accountants, auditors, and prayer uh, professionals uh, bookkeepers, they tend to service multiple clients and work in public accounting. Controllers, financial analysts, and cost accountants, they tend to work for a single company and they also work in private accounting. Other accountants work for federal or even the state governments. The demand for accountants is high and employment is expected to increase over the next decade. That was the end of uh, learning objective one. So now we're getting into learning objective two. Learning objective two we will describe the organizations and the rules that govern accounting. Here in the United States, the financial 
Accounting Standards Board, or, or the FASB. It is a privately funded organization, okay? And that organization, FASB, oversees the creation and governance of accounting standards. The FASB works with governmental regulatory agencies like the Securities and Exchange Commission or the SEC. Now the SEC is the US governmental agency that oversees the US financial markets. Generally accepted accounting principles or GAAP they are the guidelines for accounting information. Now, GAAP is governed by the FASB. And the GAAP rules are used to prepare financial statements. The primary objective of financial reporting is to provide useful information. In order for information to be useful, one, it must be relevant and have faithful representation. Relevant information, it allows the user to make informed decisions Information is faithfully represented when it is complete, it's neutral, and it's free from error. An economic entity is an organization that stands apart as a separate economic unit. An entity is a separate economic unit when it separate when it is separate from its owners. Let me say that again. An entity is a separate economic unit when it is separate from its um, from its owners. Now, there are various types of business entities. One is called sole proprietorship. The other is partnership, corporations, and limited liability companies, or LLCs. On this screen, on this slide, you will actually see um, some of the definitions for those entities or business organizations. You see a sole proprietorship is a business with one owner. Partnership is a business with two or more owners and they're not organized as a corporation. A corporation, on the other hand, is a business. It is organized under the state law. That is a separate legal entity. And the LLC is a company in which each member is only liable for his or her own actions. This chart also shows the number of owners, the life of the organization, the personal liability of the owner or owners for the business, the business's debt, the taxation, and also the type of business. GAP provides the rules that govern accounting which includes the cost principle, 
the governing, I'm sorry, the going concern assumption and the monetary unit of assumption. Okay, so GAPS provides the cost principle, the monetary unit assumption, the going concern assumption, and the economic entity assumption. An organization that stands apart as a separate economic unit follows the economic entity assumption. The cost principle states that assets should be recorded at their actual cost on the date of acquisition. Assets will continue to be reported at their historical cost over their useful life. With the going concern assumption, it is that entity uh, that will remain in, in operation for the foreseeable future. The monetary unit assumption requires that items on financial statements be measured in terms of a monetary unit. So here in the US, we use dollars, okay? Now, because the dollar is the medium of exchange, that's why we use dollars. Accountants assume that the dollar's purchasing power is stable. Now, inflation occurs when prices rise and the purchasing power of a dollar decreases. The SEC requires that U.S. business follows U.S. GAAP. Companies that are incorporated in other countries or that do significant business in other countries may be required to use what we call is the International Financial Reporting Standards or, or the IFRS, which are published by the International Accounting Standards Board or the IASB. Now, there are more than 116 nations that use the IFRS standards, which are typically less specific and they are based more on principle than the U.S. GAAP. An audit is an explanation of a company's financial records and statements. In it, an independent auditor issues an opinion. It's an opinion on the state of the company's financial situations. In response to various accounting scandals, the U.S. government passed what we call the Sarbanes-Oxley Act or the SOX. The SOX is intended to curb financial scandals. According to SOX, it is a criminal offense to falsify financial information, financial statements. SOX also created the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board, or the PCAOB. Now, the Public Accounting, the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board is used to monitor the work of independent accountants who audit public companies. Now, this is the end of objective number two. In our next video, we will discuss learning objective number three, describing the accounting equation, and we're going to provide definitions of assets, liabilities, and equity. Learning objective three will cover the accounting equation and definitions of 
assets, liabilities, and equity. Thank you for watching. And please, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button below. And also look out for our next video. Thank you for watching.